Welcome sa sip9.com From the previous video, pinag-aaralan natin kung paano ba kunin yung x and y intercepts no? ng uh, isang quadratic function. So dito, uh, parang practice na natin ito. Find the x and y intercepts of y equals x squared plus 2x plus 3. No? So mauna muna tayo sa y intercept kasi mas madali dito. No? y intercept. Okay. From the previous video, sabi natin, para kunin to, to uh, solve for y-intercept, anong, anong gagawin natin? Set x to 0 and solve for y. So y, y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. Anong gagawin natin pag sinet natin yung x to 0? Lahat to magiging 0 yung main x na yan, diba? So we substitute. So y equals 0 squared plus 2 times 0 minus 3. Meaning y equals negative 3. So dadaan siya sa y equals negative 3 or yung anong point yon We have the... This is our y-intercept. Or, saan yun? 0, negative 3. No? Yun ang kanyang, the coordinate, the coordinates of the point where the the graph will pass through the y-axis. No? Next, anong gaginagawa rin sa, anong gagawin natin pag kukunin natin yung x-intercept? Yung concept nito sa previous video, kaya dapat ikinan nyo, wag lang, wag lang yung kabisaduin, dapat alam nyo kung bakit ganun. So, next, we set y to 0 and solve for x. Okay. So, we have, uh, we set y to 0. Balik na lang muna natin para diretso. Ibig sabihin, yung ito lalagay natin sa left hand side, ito lalagay natin sa right hand side. Okay, so we have x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. No? Equals y. And x squared plus 2x minus 3. We set y to 0. Diba? And then we solve for x. Pag quadratic function, uh, quadratic equation pala, ito quadratic equation na. Ano nga ginagawa natin? So, ang una-una natin titignan is factorable ba siya? Kasi kung factorable, madali lang. Pag hindi siya kayang i-factor, it's either we complete the square or we use a quadratic formula. No? So since mukhang, mukhang factorable naman, let's try. No? Uh -huh. We have yung negative 3 ay product. No? Ito sum. So ano yung mga ano ng negative 3? mga possible factors we have negative 1 tsaka 2 oh sorry negative 1 tsaka 3 negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 diba tsaka what else 1 negative 3 no? o solve na tayo dito meron pa bang iba wala na no ang sum nila is 2 saan dito sa dalawang 2 ang sum nila ay 2 this one diba so meron tayong minus 1 and plus 3 plus 3 which is equal to 0 okay pinactor out natin ay pinactor natin to ito na yung kinalabasan niya so this becomes 0 if one of them is 0 so x minus 1 is 0 if this is 0 anong value ng x kailan magiging 0 to pag ang x natin ay 1 diba pag 1 yan 1 minus 1 0 0 times any number here equals 0. Pwede rin na pag ito ay 0, magiging 0 rin to, no? So, x plus 3 equals 0. x equals negative 3. Yun na minus lang natin. This is a simple equation. So, hindi ko na siya masyadong ididetali. So, negative 3 plus 3 is 0 times any number here is 0, which is equal to 0. So, ang x-intercepts natin ay dalawa. No? x equals negative 1, uh, x equals 1, tsaka x equals negative 3. 
Okay, so we have mm -hmm. no coordinates ng point na yan. So, maging 1, 0, at saka ito naman negative 5. Oh, sorry, not negative 5, but negative 3. So, ibig sabihin, yung, yung ating uh, yung ating graph, nagpa-pass through siya sa 1, 0, nagpa-pass through siya sa negative 3, 0, at saka nagpa-pass through siya sa uh, 0, negative 3. Okay? So, saan yan? Nagpa-pass through siya sa 1, 0, sabi natin. What else? Saan siya nagpa-pass through? Sa negative 3, 0 ba? Yan. Ama, negative 3, 0, tsaka 0, negative 3. So, negative 3, 0 here. Tsaka 0, negative 3. Okay? So, malamang yung ating graph ay pa ganyan. Kasi magpa-pass through siya doon sa tong points na yan. Okay? So, try natin. Ano yung graph natin? Uh, y equals x squared plus 2x. Tama ba? Kung minus 3. I hope tama. Okay, so nakikita nyo? Um, Nag-pass through siya dun sa tatlo. Tatlong points na uh, sinode natin. No? I think may isa pang point yan, yung kanyang vertex, which I think in this case, malamang ito ay nasa negative 1, negative 4. So, pag nakuha natin yung vertex, alam natin, dun mang, yun yung, it's either pinaka-lowest uh, value or pinaka-minimum ng function or kung baliktad naman, if it opens um, downward, the maximum of the function yung vertex. So, if you can look at the intercepts, the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and the vertex, then we'll, ha we'll have a pretty good picture of, of, a, of the function. No? Uh, ginagamit niya sa graph sketching, no? pag nag-aaral nag nag kayo ng pre-calculus, I think merong graph sketching dyan and also in calculus. So, kung familiar na kayo sa mga properties ng function, ngayon pa lang, eh, madali niyong, madali niyong ano, no? ma-aaral yung calculus. Okay, so I think uh, hanggang dito na lang tayo. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.